not make any deals with you. I've resigned. I will not be pushed, filed, stamped, indexed, briefed, debriefed, or numbered. Indexed, briefed, debriefed. My life is my own. My life is my own. Somewhere. Greetings. Welcome to Channel 6, and I've got replications in the audio. It's not here. It's not here. Check, check one, two. Check one, check two. Check, check one, two. Check one, check two. Is that system plugged in? Is that system Oh, this system's blowing. <laughs> well, that's doing it. Don't think you need you need this here. What you don't need to hear anything from this system. Okay. Check one, check two. Sounds good. Welcome to Channel Six. We have a special guest. I have a special camera set up. We have a resident art historian, an art specialist. I don't see anybody here yet. It'll take people a while to get on board. D what? Are we are we down? It says it's live. Well, say hello. Is it this one or this one? Say hello to Angie Kitty. She's not in chat. Say hello, Angie Kitty. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Nice to see you. You sound great. Let me check a few things because there's something not right here. Okay, that looks good. Because it's telling me there's nobody watching and there has to be somebody watching. There we go. I hear a host. Dan the man, thank you. There are potentially nine people watching now. <gasps> awesome. Uh, how many people have me on auto host? So my idea was that we might contrast. Did I put it in the title? What's the title? Art T and retrospective under art. I thought we might look at some of tweak old video game art versus new video game art and I don't know what this is actually art is that from a specific video game that you've played? no I don't know where I've accumulated this it's a screenshot it might be from a video game promo material because it looks this looks like a pawn and that's like a castle in the distance mm-hmm It's pretty cool. You've got some contrast between the icebergs and the, uh, you know, the the cool colors of the blue and the white, uh, contrasting with the the dark red, orange, and yellow, which are hot colors, warm colors. It's pretty cool. Sunset over the water. Oh, I see reflectiveness in the water and some wave effect. Mm -hmm. That's a cool scene. Yeah, it is. What, what I'm more interested in is let's check this this technically this is art it's advertising art yeah let's see back in the late 70s <laughs> fantastic that needs to be turned into a poster and <laughs> this is out of the magazines yeah. they, this is how they advertise the early commodore computers with they need to put that on a poster in some nerd's bedroom or office very cool with famous people like bill here captain kirk as is computer. that James T. Kirk? Yes, Tiberius that's Kirk? that's Shatner. Wow. And this computer probably weighs about 30 to 40 pounds, so I don't believe he's actually holding it up there. I don't know if it's sitting on something or they had wires on it, but that's a heavy system. It's a steel case with a built-in monitor. Do you have that system? No, I never got one of those. I'm surprised you have everything else in the studio. It's one of the early ones. Ah. And it's got a built-in monitor, which is a pain. Oh, Okay. Yeah, that is odd. Very cool. 
This is probably one of the most famous art pieces that's uh, been created. Okay, what year is that, if you don't mind me asking? It should be 93. Let's look it up. Doom 1993 cover art. We shall investigate. Cover art. So far the bots are keeping us. Cover art. Doom. Doom cover art was illustrated by Don Punchatz. Mm-hmm. Don Ivan punch ads depicts the game's protagonist standing on a ridge in hell using a machine gun to fight off devilish monsters with a vague re resemblance to one of the in-game characters. And they have mechanical parts. Do they have mechanical parts? Okay. I don't, I don't, I see this gun here, but it, they all look pretty much, it actually looks like a silly dog's face right here, except with human eyes. Well, unless you've actually seen a demon... This is an artist's rendering of what their imagination has created. Uh, oh, the mechanical part's right there. I see it now. It, it's by his leg. It's by his right leg. Mm -hmm. The Doom logo was created by Adrian Carmack. He's one of the id software people back then. And what year did you say it was? 1993. Okay. And there's another guy in the background that you n hardly ever notice this other guy when you look at it. He's just like part of the background. Are those pyramids in the background? It's supposed to be on Mars, so one would believe these are like mountains or hills on Mars. Because they, they don't start out in hell. That It says hell, but they actually started on Mars. Mm -hmm. But it probably represents like the hellish landscape. So you've got a lot of red for Mars, the red planet the demons Possibly. so the guy with the machine gun who's killing he's an agent of good yeah he's the main he's the main guy he's the player's in-game avatar and i guess it would be hell because on mars they were actually on phobos and demos the moons which wouldn't have this red they changed it to mars later we'll look at that one okay is this one of your favorite games yeah it was before quake Doom was an... Well, when Doom came out, there was nothing like this. Doot, doot, doot. The game's title screen was based on this. It added a shotgun. Interesting. Yeah, when Doom came out, it was like the first real 3D perspective game that wasn't all square and rectangular boxes and the same height and floor and ceiling. And it, it added a lot of depth and dimension now that we have that now question is that um like the video game cartridge box yeah that was the box that came in when you bought okay. the game certain releases i i actually have one let me let me see if i can dig that up oh i don't know if i can get to it i have to sneak through well you don't have to yeah i don't know where it is don't worry about it i'm sure you have it you've got everything in here Are we still live? Yeah, we're live. This is a live streaming. I lost my headset. Oh, it fell down. Where's my headset? Okay, I have to re-gig now since I took the headset off. Although I just... I just noticed this one that somebody put John Romero's head on the Doom guy. Doom's cover art had one secret. Interesting. And, oh. Somebody actually has a comparison of the 2016 remake. They just remade it recently. And we can see that right here that they basically copied the style. Mm -hmm. He's got a shotgun now. It's the new model. It's got the new rendition of the demons. It's got, instead of just the generic one, it's got the, uh, Rev, not Revenant, the skeletal guy. What's he? That might be Revenant. It's got a caco demon. 
Yeah. Okay, and what year was the second? 2016. 2016. I actually like the 2016 version a lot better because, um, I don't know, it seems like there's more contrast between the darks and the lights. And uh, it's just too busy in the early 90s artwork. Well, I think this giant skull back here represents the dead uh, cyber demon that he killed the first time around. I like that he's surrounded by demons. And he's alone, too. Yeah, he's no fighting No second off. guy. So that's cool. That's the first contrast. What kind of tea are you drinking right now? It's actually coffee. This this is the uh, German coffee I <laughs> have. Okay. Tea in the morning and tea at night and coffee in the middle. Let's see that beautiful new teacup and saucer that you have. Oh, this? That one? That's the... We can go full screen on it. And we can actually go... Uh, that's beautiful. That's isn't that... Right. Um, isn't that an antique, actually? Well, vintage. It's the Autumn Leaf Collection. The saucer is easier. Do I have it? I do believe that style was sold door to door back in the 1940s. Yeah. Or early 50s. That would probably be the case because my grandmother collected it and she collected quite a bit of it, did we not? Okay, P is the. I have a whole collection of teacups and I, I don't have the business card down here to promo where I bought the teacup. It's the clock place at the Laurel Mall, but I'll have <coughs> to bring that down. And what are you snacking on? Pop tart. What flavor? Pretzel. Pretzel flavored? Yeah, that's what they call it. It tastes like a pop tart. So the the soft, yummy stuff in the middle is pretzel? No, no, it's just some of their stuff. It has a chocolatey taste. Okay, interesting. This is the Doom Two cover. Oh, that's not a big one. Can we have a big one? Apparently, I closed the tab. Oh, it's over here. Let me uh, bunk up to the larger sizes. We'll go medium and see what it is. Okay. The Doom 2 cover art. And a size we can actually see. This came out in Doom 2. In what year? I'm looking. It doesn't say. Doom 2. 95? 94. They, that, crank, they cranked them out pretty quick. That demon head is very reminiscent of the creature that Tim Curry plays in the film. Darkness. Yes. Do you remember the name of the film? Legend. Legend. One of my favorite films. Starring Tom Cruise when he was... Undiscovered. I think his first big role, his first film role. And the pretty girl Mia Sara, who is actually a cousin of my friend's baby daddy. <laughs> I think it was her first film, too. Was it? Okay. Yeah. I, I actually so. really liked her in the, the Jean Claude Van Damme movie Time, Time Cop. Cop. Yeah. <laughs> Time that was Cop a great, was great picture. <clears throat> Time Cop was cool. Yeah, so that looks like Tim Curry in Legend, which is it's a great... It's the horns. Yeah. It's a great movie. I recommend all your viewers watch it at some point. Well, they, they've they refined the uh, logo a little bit. It isn't. It doesn't look as blurry in this one. It's the same logo. Mm -hmm. There's just more contrast in, in the colors. But this this one, they come to Earth, and he fights him on Earth. So you see cities in the background. It's like a city. And the Cyber Demon is actually the one he defeated at the end of the first game. Now, is it me or do the demons have weapons now that are more technologically advanced? No, they, they were about on par. This, this is, there's nothing really new in this game. They added a couple things. And is it me or is that demon wearing a man thong? It's a cybernetic creature. It's like part demon and part mechanical. So it's got all kind of mechanical parts stitched into it. But it looks like a Speedo. It's hard to tell what that is. Well, who who, who cranked this out? 
Doom 2. It was by Gerald Brom. Okay. An unusual stylized buzz cut fighting a cyber demon using a shotgun in the ruins of a burning city on Earth. The game's manual uses the same art. So, that's the second one. There isn't a Doom 2 released in modern times yet. Okay. Uh, this is like a fan rendering here. Fan art. What, what did the fan art do? The fan, I wonder who did it. I actually like this style. They took one of the clearer doom things and did their own like little comic drawing here that's adorable i like it i i like this comic style his face and it reminds me of some of the japanese animation stuff as well the the creature on his uh shoulder of there reminds me of the creature from the black lagoon from yeah. the 1950s kind of cute kind of hideous at the same time well, these would be imps. They throw fireballs, mm -hmm. and they have these spiky things. They're all imps. And his gun's just some kind of generic amorphized, or and the creature in the foreground tech weapon. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's not like a shotgun or a machine gun or anything we're familiar with. It's just like something they made up. Okay. Stuff they made. I mean, hey, creativity. You gotta love it, you know. Generally, when when artists are starting out, they copy the masters. So you know, somebody creating this artwork based on somebody else's doom depictions, it's the way to go. But did you notice in the foreground there's um, a creature looking towards the main character, and it looks like the back of his head is an ass. Right there, that little triangle shaped crunch right there. Yeah, kind of. That's funny. So what's going on with the spikes? On they these guys? just put spikes on them. Okay. Doom, 1993 imp. Let's see what they actually modeled some of these. Kitanu, welcome. You are watching me with Angie Kitty. She's been in the forum before. She's an art teacher and art historian. Yep, we have a guest tonight. 19 so years, yes. So say hello to the guest. It has been 19 years, hasn't it, since yeah. your your uh, official stamping thing, whatever mm -hmm. they call it, degree. Whatever they call that when they give you one and you're... When I all graduated? All the rights. Well, there's something like, like all you're attributed to all the rights, honors, and whatever it pertains to all those words they make up, all those funky N words. Nice to meet you, too. <clears throat> so what um, what we've been doing on Channel 6 is we are analyzing the artwork of video games. Come and see the violence and air it in the system. Help, help, I'm being repressed. I love that quote. But we were just looking at the original uh, imp with its spiky parts. I like this one. That's some pretty cool art right there. Absolute weapon on deviant art, and then somebody did some three D renderings. Mm -hmm. They like to redesign it. Why do all these creatures have little man thongs on? Which ones? I, this guy's just like nothing. He's like <laughs> angel neutered, okay, non non determinate mm -hmm. <laughs> orientation. There. Ooh, look at this guy. Oh, there's a boss called the Imp Lord. I like that. Ooh, like a mini boss kind of boss? <laughs> it doesn't judge, it just hates. Well, yeah. So, the next big cover art, I, I was just looking through my, my collection and saw that. Not really specific. This, this old Atari art, though. This is from, I think it's from the 70s. Ah, uh, Missile Command. We're going to bunk My off. My first video game oh, ever. Either. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. So it's even more uh, 
I think I was seven That's, years old. You're behind my head. Everybody there, used to want to come to my house because I had the Atari system. Yeah, because you had Atari and they had the arcade games. They didn't really want to play with me. They wanted to play with my system. It was hilarious. Well, there were three major systems that were easy to acquire. The ColecoVision, which had really good graphics. Mm -hmm. But the game setup was not like the mainline arcade games like Missile Command and Asteroids and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It was like Mousetrap. They had Donkey Kong. That's the one thing they had. They had the best version of Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. And then Intellivision, which had clones of all the stuff, but mm -hmm. like Atari released its stuff and Coleco released some of its stuff, but the Intellivision games were just like bizarre clones that nobody was really interested in. I loved Missile Command and what were the other ones? I had Pitfall, Pac-Man, Donkey Kong. It was a lot of fun. I'd wake up in the middle of the night and just... Just play. Just play, and my mother would scream at me, get your ass back into bed. <laughs> so it's a 1980 Atar uh, arcade game and a 1981 port. All right, I don't think I received my Atari until it was like seven, six or seven. 82, 83. But this, this is like, and they have this action. They actually have an action figure with a missile with Atari on it. I remember those cartridges were $30 a piece. Were they then? Back in 1980, what, 82? Yeah. It was a big deal. That was before the price collapse mm -hmm. in 83. But what I like about this, but this plastic figure, and I believe this is a real thing, there's a missile with Atari on it. So that's like Atari is nuking people. Because they were nuclear weapons. The way they exploded. <laughs> Great for kids. Like, here's the action set. Here's the missile. It's an Atari missile. <laughs> now, what does the guy look like he's wearing a white wig? Is that a helmet? Yeah, that's a helmet. Well, okay. th this is like if you actually go to 1919. They actually go to Battlestar Galactica in 1979 or so. Um, where's a good one? Where is it? Doop, 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 doop. We don't have the pilots. We have the peoples. It does look like the helmet from Spaceballs. Mm, before Spaceballs. Come on. Wiki wiki. How many assholes do we have on this ship? Yo, sir. Keep firing. <laughs> where where are the pilots? It really looks like an Egyptian thing. That that's the design. That's the helmet design from mm -hmm. Battlestar Galactica right there. Interesting space this balls thing. trivia. My stepdad used to work at the airport and um Michael Winslow, who made all the strange noises of the space ball craft, he met him. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So that's that's a pretty close approximation of the Battlestar Galactica helmet, but it could just be a generic. Oh, combing the desert. We ain't found shit. I yeah. love it. I love it. Hilarious. They had that big pick. Comb the desert. Comb the desert. <laughs> Sir, we're doing the right thing. He said comb the desert. Yeah, that movie, it's, it's always going to be amazing. It's a go-to when you got the flu and you just lay there. You just have to watch that. Yeah. Oh, that's a big piece of art right there. Come on. My go-tos for when I'm sick are Spaceballs, um, all the Harry Potter movies, all the Lord of the Rings movies. I'm not sure this was made in the 70s or 80s, but it's the right style if it was. That this looks late, like late 70s. Because th this this is like the book cover style of the 70s and 80s. This looks like a sci-fi book cover. Yeah, this is, um, the artist has definitely got some technical skill with um, the rendering of the bodies and the, uh, the realism. You're starting to lose a lot of realism with video game packaging, you know, after this. I like the style of art. Though. Well, they've got a... At like an alien planet landscape, the spaceships mm -hmm. in the air. It's almost like 
It's similar to Star Wars too. You got your heroes with their guns and their the way the bodies are arranged and everything is very similar to the Star Wars. It is. It is beautiful. Poster. It's a good piece of art. In fact, it's realistic. Let us just. It almost looks like it's watercolored in certain spots, like the background's watercolored. I have an art folder to save things into. Cool. Doink. Oh wait, what's that? Uh, it's doing a weird thing. Okay, I will deal with that later. For all of you who are watching, this is not the best camera angle for me, but it's the setup. You move the mic over a little bit, and they won't be able to see things. Okay, so did Battlestar Galactica have a game? Let us go back to where we were. And this is the box art here. It's very similar, except you've got where the action figure covers up, and there's a city that's on fire, there's an explosion, there's the missiles, and there's the guy. So it, it conveys pretty much what you'd be doing in the game, which that was actually a rarity. If you look at enough game like cover art asteroids, you're actually sh oh here's a here's a trifecta. I actually really love the the pulp artwork from 1950s books. I love it. It's awesome. I have a funny thing I can show on the screen that my best friend sent me. Let's pull it up here. What are you pulling up where? I am pulling up a picture of 1950s, like a pulp uh, book, and on, uh, on that screen there. I'm gonna put it on the camera. Yeah. Well, of course it was photoshopped with some new stuff on top of it, but it's funny. It's cute. Where are you bringing? Oh, you're just going because I'm I bringing have, it up on my phone. I'm gonna pop I it up have on the screen. That screen. I I actually have that screen over here. It's silly. And people can see that screen from here. Do, 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 I'm just going to... Uh, I don't know if it's picking it up. Well, let me go to... Let me go to the big thing. Uh, control P? Oh. Yeah, it's not going to autofocus. And interestingly enough, the title is green screening. Because I can see the background through the title of that. But we Wacky. could we could actually look that up. P. That's silly. What's that? What I just showed. <laughs> no. Okay, so what do we have next? Ah, yes. Asteroids actually shows you a spaceship blowing up asteroids, which is what you do in the game. Adventure is a little bit more idealized in that you did go through a maze but it looks nothing like this now don't you have every one of these cartridges in your collection no i've got about 40 or 50 i have all the images now where did you collect all of your cartridges for atari most of mine i bought at the store back in the 70s and 80s okay so about half. I got about half at yard sales and things like that, junk stores. Do you recommend, you know, if a, if a person sees these out and about, they should pick them up? If they want to play them on an Atari and they have an Atari that works. Are they worth anything on eBay? Nope. They're really not? Nope, unless you have Air Raid and it's original and then you can prove it. Didn't a couple of years ago, um, out in the desert, somebody found a huge cache of a video game that was... It was E.T. Was and it? And it was Angry Video Game Nerd that did a piece on it. Okay. And he, he went out and uh, went out. I think it was New Mexico, like uh, Alamogordo or something like that. And they actually went out to the landfill and got permission to dig around and dug up some old cartridges. Because they, they had millions of these things and they couldn't sell them. And they Correct. Were just, they just had to dump them. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. So collectors are not picking up cartridges. I can't say for sure. Yeah, a couple of bucks, ten bucks, six bucks. They're not. 
So what are people doing now? They're not they're not using these on the original systems. They're using um, like a lot of people play emulators. Some emulators. people have the original systems. They're not worth a terribly large amount of money. Most, especially the common ones. There's there's one called uh, Air Raid. Mm -hmm. It's a blue cartridge with a weird handle on it. Mm -hmm. And it's it's rare, so it's worth a lot when it comes up. But it's not it's not really. It's just people want it so bad. So people who have Ataris and all the cartridges, do you recommend that they not play them to keep them in better shape? No, or they might as well play them? them. They might as well play them. Because if they're going to get messed up, they're going to get messed up anyways. There's nothing here. This tells us nothing. Nothing for sale. Air Raid. Somebody found one. It, it might be what the only thing is when you go to sell them, like, I think the high point of this was probably already reached. They don't have a good picture of it. They have this chunky video right here. Chunky? Chunky. They, they don't have, like, they have the box. Okay. Is that the new Xbox? I'm, I'm being distracted by the top, the design. So it's basically a cube with this. Oh, that's an idealized. Xbox event was uneventful. Well, it doesn't I have sound a pot good. holder that looks like that. <laughs> the top of this, yeah, those silicone ones, those are pretty cool. But most of this stuff you are not worth that much. You know, it'd be a fun segment if we um, analyze the artwork of pinball machines. That would be neat. Oh, pinball machine art. We can take a look at pinball art. Ten rare and expensive video game. Yeah, this is a picture from AVGN, the uh, desert thing. He made a film, actually. What a crazy <coughs> photograph that is. But I, did they really dig these up? They might have. Or did they just take some and stress them and stick them there? I can't say. Although they may have actually really dug those up. Nintendo World Championships is one that's gone up above 10,000, I think. 8,500 to 20,000. Now, being a computer person that adores video games, would you ever sell a system or a product that you've collected over the years just for the money? Nope. I would want it to go to somebody that was actually going to enjoy having it, play the games, and get something out of it besides sitting on a shelf. Ooh, 33,000. So, so rich collectors don't actually play, you don't think? No, they stuff the stuff on a shelf. They Well, this is what they do. Uh, they do stuff like this. There, there's this organization called WADA. Mm -hmm. Side note, I went antiquing today and I got an E.T. drinking glass from Pizza Hut from the early 80s it's very cool so basically they take a video game uh-huh they grade it according to some scale they made up and they seal it up in this plexiglass there's no way to play the game that's not wow. accounted for and it's just sealed inside one of these things so if someone offered you twenty thousand for something nope you've got a lot of integrity wouldn't take it unless i know that it's going to do what it's meant to be doing you want to learn about the WADA thing, go to uh, the CU podcast with Ian and Pat Contry. Mm -hmm. They talk about it all the time. And Kitanu had things to say. Well, what killed the gaming was they were dumping a ton of it. Everybody was making an Atari game. Chuck okay. Wagon, Chase the Chuck Wagon. That's an interesting one. I know we're getting into the... But this has art, too. The Chase the Chuck Wagon game. It was a 1983 promo game written and distributed by Purina, the dog food company. <laughs> and it's a rare one because it was you had to mail order it mm -hmm. and you got whatever this maze chase game is. And this this wasn't the the game dumping. What was happening was they were putting these all these games out and the market was flooded. And you, you know what, they started out selling games for 30 and they were making a profit. Then they weren't worth $5 because they couldn't compete. Mm -hmm. 
and that's that's what happened they they were competing with all this just a ton of stuff there's mm-hmm. like 1100 some atari 2600 games this is this is this is what the <laughs> this is what the art looks like this is the box art for chase the chuck wagon did you ever possess that one no it's rare Basically, a silver, brushed silver metal cover, the Purina dog, and uh, the truck wagon logo, and some basic, you know, uh, system art. Okay. And their title. So they, they paid for somebody to make a video game to promote their product. Now, Katanu, what do you, what do you mean by um, taking a look at the differences between localized game art? I'm not sure. What exactly that means? Let's take a look. I know, I know where he's. Oh, headed. I see. Okay, basically, the Japanese cover arts are amazing, but once they're localized, they lose all the personality. Hmm. Let's see what we get. It reminds me. I've I've been collecting uh, images of James Bond posters from around the world and. They're completely different from American ones. 1980s. Art-wise and style-wise. Fan- fantasy mean. star game. They've got this long-eared kitty thing. The heroes. That is it's adorable. Compared to the Atari stuff, it's a different order. This is a Sega Sega release it's, game. It's like hyper cute. It's what a lot of my middle school girls like to draw these days. And it's probably actual in-game characters. Well, Atari also focused on the arcade games that were really popular here. Mm-hmm. Nobody probably ever heard of this, unless you had the Sega Master System Mark III. Mm-hmm. So number six, do you want to look at uh, Mega Man cover art? Mega Man cover art. I would actually really love to draw that kitty cat thing with the long ears. That's adorable. I don't I don't know what we have for American art versus Japanese art though. The covers of Mega Man. I know that there was something because AVGN covered like what's up with this? AVGN has a whole art series. And he covered some of this. Like, what's even going on? Like, he has a gun. I remember him mentioning that, like, Mega Man uses his special weapon. That looks super 80s. I love it. It does. For some weird reason, it reminds me of Big Trouble in Little China. And I can't say why. I can't be sure, except I just looked at it. But I, I know that... Is this a Japanese cover here? I wonder. I think it is. Be- just because of the font and everything. The Super Famicom, yeah. Interesting side note. Um, my uncle is the plumber for the Ringling College of Art in Florida. And um, a lot of the students there, a lot of them are from China and Japan. Mostly Japan. And, uh, yeah, they have amazing artwork. He He finds all kinds of stuff just laying around after they leave their dorms and he grabs all of it. I thought you were going to make a Super Mario Brothers <laughs> reference for a minute. <laughs> like he's a plumber and he's at the college. No, that's The kids though. all call him Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Cap RX Rock. What is this? It, it looks like a Mega Man ripoff. But they're, they, these, oh, these, this is actually a cover from somewhere? These students that they have there, they're so, so amazing. They literally have to leave the country to go to art college because they don't really push that in the Asian countries. They're, they're pushing for p- their students to go to more technical uh, training, and uh, they have to send their kids here t- to do the creative stuff. Huh. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I think they'd be way up on technology in Japan, especially digital arts, but you know, where they well, specialize I mean, they have a huge, in it. They have a digital arts program at Ringling. Yeah. But they don't really encourage the creativity side of things over there. No. Oh, huh. It's, they come up I've heard. they come up with some really wild they do. stuff. They really do. I, I'm not gonna search. But they for don't that. have like big art schools like they do here. 
JT, he's not going to come out for it. Yep. Now, one thing I know, I know where I'm headed. Where, where have we been? We did Mega Man. Oh, Street Fighter. Yes, I used to love playing Street Fighter. And the crazy thing is, I played it in school before school started. We had like a 30-minute homeroom before class started. We would just play Street Fighter. I cannot believe we got away with that. Prince of Persia. Hmm. I really liked it. There, there have been books published about video game art that uh, are available, but I don't have any of them. Box Art Brawl. Interesting. That looks like Serious Sam, but I'll bet it isn't. What's up with Shuttle Invader? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, this is actually a Space Invaders. Yeah, that's like a Space Invaders clone, it looks like. So what are they saying? <laughs> this is your base. These are the shields. How she fit into it? This sun looks like it's dangerous. So is this the is this to titillate um, the people who are buying the products? Well, this is them? this looks like Japanese for Japanese people. So who can say for sure? That that that's what. And it it doesn't look like. Why does that look like David Spade in a wig? <laughs> It does. It does, and it doesn't look like a Japanese person either. It looks American, blonde hair. The okay. eyes look like they're drawn American. This may have been to market their game to American companies. Now, what is except that? Except for that, is that a table tabletop yeah, it's, game? Yeah, it's it's one of these uh, cocktail table type games. It looks like. Okay. Uh, what did, what did they call them? I can't remember what they call them. I'd have to run the emulator and look and see. I remember playing those uh, those at Pizza Hut when we'd go as kids. We'd always want to take the quarters and go play the tabletop game in the front of the restaurant. It was usually Pac-Man. Oh, here's, an here's another one of these. These are vintage ads that they had. This, this is how they marketed. Wow. Something tells me this is some variety of Mahjong, just looking at this control pad. You know, oh, it is. This is a Mahjong game. Oh. Those outfits are back in style. Are they? Oh, yeah. Why were they in style in the first place? <laughs> That's awesome. I'm curious. Oh, it's on Pinterest, so we won't get any information out of it. They have a lot of Mahjong games over there. A lot. What's up with this? Rock stars and video games. That's o Is that Aussie? That's Phil Collins, I think. What's that about? Motorhead. I don't know. David Bowie, maybe? Is that Rick James? No, I think that's Rick James. Where? Right there, this one, this third one. Maybe not. He might be uh, the one guy. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. It's an article. Steven Tyler? D yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. Joe Walsh. I used to go outside. Do you actually have to... Uh, no. Do we have any comparisons? Journey had their own game, but I you guess they were... You know how I feel about it. Journey. Yeah. Well, they had a game. It was an arcade game, and it had a home port that wasn't as good. Do do. Give my regards to Broad Street. A Commodore 64 game. Wow. Some people have Animal an aversion to uh, bugs or, you know, germs. Oh, I have an aversion to Journey. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, yeah. The Blues Brothers. Lemmy was in a game. Seriously? There's a Motorhead game on the Amiga. He gave his approval. May he rest in peace. Holy Diver, Ronnie James Dio. Revolution X, Steven Tyler. Yeah. <clears throat> my um, my colleague at work, she teaches uh, it special... It is David Bowie. Oh, wow. My, my lady friend, colleague at, at work, she, um, she went to this island up north in New England. And, you know, they went camping and stuff. And there was like a local 
like a like a general store and they <laughs> went there to get ice cream one day and um she pretended that she didn't know the guy because she didn't want to inundate him with you know stress or whatever but it was steven tyler and he was going like with his lips to the little girl that she brought it was like her her niece and um he was really friendly she said <laughs> <laughs> thought that was kind of cool well, we'll have to check out those. So Ozzy was in Brittle Legend. Did he? Did Did Ozzy know that he was giving them permission to be in? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Ozzy doesn't mm. look like he knows what's going on half the time. Well, then he fits right in. It doesn't really say. I, I can't imagine they made something that big with that without their permission. The main character that Rock game was literally Jack racing. Black. I love Jack Black. Purp or uh, Deep Purple Highway Star. Rock and roll racing. Tony Hawk, Gene Simmons from Kiss. Those guys are still around. Oh, Phil Collins is in GTA Vice City. Oh, wow, he has a concert. Phil Collins is in that video game? That's yeah. hilarious. That's your 17. Well, they, they put popular music in him to get people into it. Quest for Fame, the movie. Who is it? Aerosmith-centric revolution. Phil Collins was in his 30s when he hit... Superstardom. Guitar Hero. Slash. He's, he's elderly now. Very frail looking. So they have Slash in there. Slash. There, there, was, a, there was an episode of Conan O'Brien where Slash and Conan, they go to some guy's house who's selling a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and Slash just like starts playing it amazingly. And the guy has no idea who Slash is. So it really kind of, it was funny. So the pinball game based on the Who song, Tommy. I didn't know it had a giant pinball on top of the back glass. Well, wasn't Tommy a pinball hero? Mm-hmm. That's, that's the theme of the music. The, uh, it's actually a rock opera. Mm-hmm. Here's your pinball art. Does that say Acid Queen? Wow. They weren't hiding that stuff. Interesting. Pinball arcades before the video games of the 80s actually had some pretty negative connotations. Is connected to the seedier side of society. Oh, Katanu 13. I saw that. <laughs> Hilarious. Jack Black, uh, you know, during the COVID, you know, lockdown a few months New ago, <laughs> bef before they opened up everything, uh, you know, he, he basically films himself doing crazy dances at his house. He's just such a great performer no matter what he does. So Ted Nugent had, had a, a pinball, pinball game. machine. Wow. Tribute to Weekend Warriors LP, 1978. Is he still with us? I, I know that he's like a big gun proponent person. Pro probably. I think I'd have heard uh, off of author and if he... Uh, ducked out. Beat time. What's beat time? <laughs> it's rare. Beat time. Hmm. Mop top musicians. So the Boodles. Okay. So it's like a Beatles parody. That's neat. The Boodles. <laughs> They've got that mod look that that kind of bowl haircut. Mm -hmm. You can see it on this one right here on the upper one is like that kind of haircut. No way. Oh, it's Elton John. My Captain Fantastic, but it's not that Captain Fantastic. Have you seen the new Elton John uh, biopic? No. He had a hard life, that poor man. He really did. He was he was abused as a child and everything. Well, he had a pinball game called Captain Fantastic. It's awesome. The Rolling Stones, of course. He deserves all his success. Of course they have a pinball game. Get off of my nice. cloud. It's only rock and roll, but I like it. Going to miss you. 
Look at that. That's beautiful. I wonder if it mentions the Angie song on there anywhere. <laughs> oh, it looks like they had an upgrade. That oh, looks wow. like that looks that that's not the seventies one, that's for sure. It looks very seventies. Pinball machine two. No, this is I'd say this is at least nineties. Mm -hmm. If not post they still make pinball games. Do they really? Yeah, they crank them out based on movies and uh, properties. Where do people go to play them? I don't know. They're really expensive, too, because they don't make a lot. They only make a few thousand of them. Metallica has them as well? Wow. Metallica. Oh, yeah. Here we are. They've got a few, it looks like. These are like look like 80s at the least. Kiss. And then do Kiss Do you know the members one. of Kiss are in their mid-70s? Does that blow your mind? No. See, this is a 70s pinball game. I can tell by the by the play field. Pinball games are simpler in the 70s. One level. Mm -hmm. Drop targets and bumpers in these upper lanes. And that was about it. You might have a spinner or something. Then they got really complicated. You did comb combos off of targets and things like that. And Katanu13 says that the arcades in Japan are packed all the time. Oh, wow. That's cool. Hmm. That would be cool if they had, like, a live stream and we could check that out. They might. I wonder what video games and machines GNR. they're playing. 1994 GNR pinball game wow. with, with the gun. Roses. With the gun shooter. That's crazy. Yeah, this, this is a 90s pinball game right here. Complicated ramps whole bunch of just cluttered with all kind of stuff is that a close-up yeah that's pretty close i think one of the best pinball designs is pinbot it it has complexity without being overloaded with everything mm -hmm. and then the machine bride of pinbots just like whammy with everything you know i often wonder ACTC. if i often wonder if the people that are honored in the in the you know the pinball machines or video games if they get much money for it because i know that the recording industry they basically take most of the money of the artists and they feel like they own the artists you know i i don't think the video games had that focus it was just like promotional stuff they did mm -hmm. i don't think they really expected much out of it like this acdc uh, pinball game here that all looks right. looks 90s as well. Interesting side fact. Two of the members of ACDC live in my town. And uh, they were giving a concert one time uh, to raise money for something at this local bar. And uh, the local bar had cordoned off the parking lot to account for all the people that showed up. And um, they sold out. We couldn't get in. But we just sat on the front of my car out in the parking lot on, on the other side of their parking lot and I got a free show it was awesome it was really cool don't have my thing on I like your new teacup by the way I like it too looks nice so that's the end of the pinball okay so Katani says pachinko are really popular in Japan yeah it's a market that only exists there are you familiar with that yeah, they're like a, a game of chance, kind of like a gambling type of game. That one, one of the companies that used to make good video games, like that's all they do now. And Jim Sterling talks about it all the time, and I can't remember which one it is. But I want to go back. At the top left of that screen, there's some interesting art, which I think this? is cool. It reminds me of some of the 80s stuff, like uh, Star Blazers. Mm -hmm. The Game Preservation Society. 80s PC gaming history before it's gone. That artwork is awesome. Enix's Jesus, 1987. Interesting. Hmm. It looks like a fantasy game. Mm-hmm. Okay, we don't need autoplay video. Ooh, check that out. That's interesting. PC-88 was a game system they had. Or actually, I think it was more like a PC. That's beautiful. It just didn't come over here. 
I'm not even sure what the game is. The, it was an NEC. Because NEC released over here, but this was a different system that we probably got a clone or something like. Mm -hmm. That one's very Art Nouveau. Yeah, bi Japan never had the video game crash of the 80s, I don't think. They had a bubble, though. Hokotu, no can, 1986. They were good at displaying text. Still pretty good graphics for in-game. Mm -hmm. Still feed now. I, I think I think I actually have a version of that like on the the PlayStation 1 I got off a of classic game room. I got something like that off of him. Really complex game. The Death Trap. Square before it was taken over by Enix or before it took over Enix, however that goes. I'm checking something on my phone. Yeah, that art's pretty cool. Game Preservation Society database. What year is that, if you don't mind me asking? What's that? That that art there? Hold on. What is that man wearing? 1984. <laughs> this guy? <laughs> a shirt with flowers on wow. it? It looks like a flower print. It looks like an art print. It almost looks like Van Gogh's stuff a little bit. Interesting. Okay. <coughs> what I wanted to get back to. Showdown. <sighs> Let's see. Here. So this is Samurai Showdown or Samurai Spirits. Just out of curiosity, number six, did you ever see uh, Kung Fury? Yeah. What did you think? It's hilarious. <laughs> Kung Fury was awesome. It's the one I'm thinking about. It is. Kung Fury. No, I'm, I'm thinking about another one. I may have seen this one. That you know, nice. here's another interesting thing about the art students at Ringling. Um, you know, because some of my students apply there once they're done with me and um, evidently they don't accept any type of manga in the students portfolio for consideration I don't understand that when, when did they when did they make up this uh, idea here I know I just heard it a few years ago just a recently like in the last two years yeah um, that, there may be a reason for that what is the problem manga is amazing well somebody got it in their head that it depicts underage children like continuously okay it, it's like they just decided that's what the case is regardless of the character because in a lot of the in a lot of that stuff some of the characters are just like depicted as ageless mm -hmm. like they've been around for hundreds of years they just look like a child for whatever reason mm -hmm. so well, Somebody's taking the uh, political correct thing a little I still too encourage, far. I still encourage my students to do manga. I've, I've g I brought manga books in for them to use whenever they want. That's basically the assertion that it depicts children in mm. situations that are undesirable. Somebody came up. I might have seen this. It has an appearance by David Hasselhoff. I've seen it because I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. This is the one I was thinking about was this Kung Fu Hustle this is hilarious Kung Fu Hustle is hilarious as well this is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen and I, I don't remember and there's nothing there's no there's no uh, things here just the stuff they came up with and the fact that the comedy works I know when I kick something <laughs> I want it to fly across the world <laughs> This is just the stuff that they came up with. I love the lady with the her, the hair yeah. curlers. And she could do that shout. Mm -hmm. Just all the characters in this, the axe gang people, and just all the all the craziness from it. 
almost seems like something Jackie Chan would come up with and be involved <laughs> in. He is so funny. He is. But that was good. I haven't seen Jackie Chan around lately. Huh. So that's Sega Genesis release. This is Samurai Showdown. Yeah, he doesn't look like Serious Sam there for sure. Not with that hair. Well, the cover art from this really, really lets you know what it's about. It's a fighting game. Mm -hmm. So, where... I know where I'm headed. I was curious. Um, it's been a while since I've seen the artwork of Pinbot. How do you feel about bringing that up? Pinbot. Art. Pinbot's awesome. And why is it half? I didn't say machine. I said pinball. Where's the back glass? Yeah, there she is with her beautiful metallic. Well, that's from shell. the that's from the second one, the machine, the bride of pinball. Mm. Which is just a really uh, complicated board. The board on this game is just bonkers. If it'll load. Was there a pinbot at that one pizza place? There might have been. I wonder why we're not getting this. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Let's just try. This site might be dead. Some of these sites get killed off. Oh no, there it is. This this is how complex this game is. There's like three ramps. Is that three ramps? There's a thing here, a lane, two ramps. It's got a thing in the middle that flips around and does different things. It's got this uh, very suggestive thing or this here twisty thing over here. Mm -hmm. And it's just an uber complicated game. There's so many different targets and things. And to get these things, you got to make like double shots. Mm -hmm. You don't just get one thing and then you get it. You get that thing. Then you got to hit another thing to engage it. It's a super complicated game. What's the artwork look at the top? Look like at the top. Which where which where this looks like art that somebody Go did. North. North. Oh. oh, okay. This looks like art somebody did. Okay. Based on that. It looks like somebody's digital art. Because they've enhanced things a little bit beyond what was on the game. What I really want is this. This is Pinbot. Do 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 wow. This has got one ramp, and you shoot it, and every time you shoot it, it advances a value. If you're a multiplayer in, or multi-ball and you lock a ball, the ramp scores the jackpot. It's got, off this launch ramp, it's got this here three-part point scoring system. It's got the planet advance flags, these things. It's just... I think it's an ideal layout. It doesn't have too much, but it doesn't have too little. It's beyond the 70s pinball genre. But where is the top? The back glass? Yes. It's there. That's the back glass for pinball. The top portion. Yeah, this is it. The scores were here. This is pinball. It's got this ramp is his one arm. This thing is his other arm. His fingers are pinball flippers. Mm -hmm. And his the scores are in like his chest area. Maybe the bride of Pinbot was at that pizza place. It could have been. It could have been. It was probably one of the two. Would you mind pulling that up? The, it's back glasses right here. It has the machine. The bride of Pinbot. On it. I see they chose the more human-looking face for the back glass because she's got the machine face, too. It seems to me there were diff a few different versions of this. Oh, there's more. There's other ones. Mm -hmm. They came out with Jackbot later. Hmm. This is the Jackbot back glass. Oh, that's a huge one. That'll show up. Jackbot was like just pinbot, but more junk in it, I think. Somehow they mixed in uh, 
Oh, one-armed bandits, whatever they were, and cards. That's adorable. It it has like buku scoring. It's it's way beyond. Do we have uh, the play field? That's a pinball machine right there. If I if I could collect a pinball game, I'd collect pinbot. Here it is, jackbot. So we have a suggestion. Um, let's check out the Japanese cover art for Ico, ICO. Oh, I got to catch up on chat. I haven't been watching. Of course, now I don't know what it lines up with either, since I'm going back and actually reading past where I was the first time. Oh, they probably haven't ever read a manga. These people are only concerned about displaying the appropriate level of concern and uh, self I would say self-righteousness in whatever cause they pick. They probably know very little about it. I don't think they probably hardly know anything about it at all. Jackbot is essentially the Pinbot Playfield, updated for 2000-whatever with a playing card theme. It's basically Pinbot, and they re-gigged a couple things because Pinbot was so popular. And it in my opinion, it doesn't really add anything. And the scores are like, just multiply the Pinbot score by 100 and you have Jackbot. But you might as well play, I'd rather play Pinbot, honestly. They took away the whole planetary advancement theme. So, I am showing a photograph that I took today of... Oh, you have that thing. A robot that I you have, can ride. I have pictures of that. Where is that? It's super, super 1980s. Well, if you're a kid, you could ride it. Yeah, do, my fat ass do, can't do, fit do, in there. Do, 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 do. But I thought it was pretty awesome. I, I will show that. I will show that. I know where that's at. Um, i got to figure out where the mall pictures are at. Another side note, based on the demographics of the, the art college near me, um, we have, like, the most extensive ramen flavor collection around. <laughs> Every college at, like, probably has At, like, that. convenience stores nearby. Well, the arcade is gone at the Laurel Mall. This, this was me messing with a broken uh, Austin Powers game. I think it had some problem. Wouldn't other. it be amazing to own the Austin Powers game? That is so and cool. And they, they obviously made it after the one movie with the time tunnel thing, so mm -hmm. whenever that came out. They had a Jurassic Park, too. Mm, so cool. This thing, you're talking about this wonky little thing. It talks to you. I tried to record. It's a creepy-looking thing. Is there a way you can zoom in on that? The kid sits inside on this little seat, and you can see through a little hole, and it's got, like, a steering wheel. You can drive it around. I, I don't know what would, like, make anybody outside this thing safe because this is the thing you look through and there's a little steering wheel in there it's like a death trap <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a death trap it's a death trap for children i i don't know if i have better pictures i only took a couple pictures of it i didn't really get the inside of it your camera is so much better than mine but it's it's amazing because it's straight out of the 80s and it's still there yeah well uh, where are you going to tell who's going to take this thing <laughs> I mean, it's it's six foot tall. It's blocky. It's got to be heavy. It's on wheels and it's motorized, so you'd need like a some kind of cart to carry it. Well, Doctor Evil stole the big boy and turned it into a rocket. So, well, he just built a rocket in the big boy. What what they had? This is the play field of the Austin Powers. This looks like an '80s style pinball game. A <laughs> children's Iron Maiden. That's awesome. Okay, so huh. this is a close-up of the Austin Powers video game. Or, sorry, pinball machine. It's awesome. That's a toilet right there. Where's the toilet? Right here under Fat Bastard. Right there. 
they've got the time machine. They've got Austin here. These, this is a ramp into the toilet. So this lid has to lift up and then you shoot the ball in there. This is another ramp. This is pretty complicated. I, I'd say it's styled like a 90s pinball machine, but mm -hmm. it was probably made later. I'm looking up what this might be worth. They go around ten thousand, depending on the collectability. A new one's probably in the five to ten thousand range, but that has the Austin Powers art, of course. Oh, there's like Mini Me here under this whatever one. There's Frau and some of the other people. I don't see Dr. Evil on this. Oh, he's there, but he's not. Oh, that might I can't tell if that's supposed to be him or Mini Me. Well, that little figure. According to this one on eBay, you can get a used one for $6,000. Yeah, that sounds about right. But what's crazy is next to it they have the monsters for 8,000. It Yeah, it depends on collectability. Pirates of the Caribbean for 7,000. And the Beatles Gold Edition for 8000 That's wild. Yeah, it depends on the collectability of them. So that's that stuff. I wonder if there's a person around that services these machines. There might be. I mean, who would do that? Who's Somebody job? that used to do it. Here's some art somebody did based on angry video game nerds, like opponent characters. This this is an awesome series to, to watch. <laughs> yeah. He's so hilarious. Some of the stuff he comes up with. This is actually in game. Somebody made a map with a, just a, like ten thousand monsters or something. Oh wow! You'd need modern hardware to run that. This is from a new game that I should know that they have dog armor. <laughs> And I really should know, and it just won't come to me. And something like Solid Snake, not Snake Plissken. It, it was the character <laughs> was based on Snake Plissken, but I can't remember. The Which game is from name. Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah. There's all kind of video game machines for pinball. This is the Atari Flashback. I have one of these. I have the one you can actually. It's actually real hardware. It's not emulated. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cool little thing. You can put a cartridge port in it. That's old this school. this is more like modern. This is modern pinball game or modern video game art that's a throwback to the old art. Because modern video game art cover art doesn't really look like that. Is that MGS five? Yeah, Metal Gear Solid. That's it. This is art probably based on Tron. I don't think it's actually movie art but somebody did this based on the MCP I really like this kind of art that was an awesome movie in the 80s it was just like oh wow they can do that because you hadn't seen anything like that before mm -hmm. and I really like I like to collect stuff like that well it's kind of MC Escher ish this is a new game I got called Darkest Dungeon well it's a it's years old now but it's a more recent game that came out in the 2010s but they have this old art style of course the best thing about this game is probably the narrator it's really awesome to listen to him talk about stuff mm -hmm. it's beautiful it's yeah cool and, and, and the whole the whole game is this art style too so it's really awesome why can't there be neighborhoods that look like that well it's on fire for one thing without the fire <laughs> without the fire <laughs> i have some i have some uh screenshots of that somewhere um, where, what is this little camouflage of, it's a bunch of video game characters. Some of their, some of them look like they're based on, well, there's David Bowie. Oh, David Bowie probably has, is this all David Bowie? Characters based on him? That looks to be the case. It's all characters based on David hmm. Bowie. And some of them are like in-game characters. There's references. So if you look. They've got, like, what he was and what the in-game character looks like. Oh, in every case. They show you from a bunch of different games. 
so it's like all kind of different stuff and what they look like in the uh, some of these are just obviously a stretch yeah interesting. especially the tank one from his like whatever weird 70s thing <coughs> So apparently the Darkest Dungeon art is based on Hellboy. Mm. They had a Pitfall action figure, Pitfall Harry. That's pretty cool. I would spend endless amounts of time trying to cross the crocodiles. The, the, the pits, yeah. Boy, things have certainly changed. A Keiko demon, a cake based, and somebody's probably really made a cake like this now, but a cake based on a doom caco demon. <clears throat> Yum. <laughs> There's some other heart here. I have a lot. The the doom monsters were actually models they made, and then they took pictures and digitized them. Mm -hmm. So they actually like build a model. And this is one of the original models. That for the is awesome. I would love to see that in an art museum. Well, they have it. They have it at id Software, wherever. That is so awesome. That's whoever so took them over, they still have it. Detailed. I wonder what they made that out of. That looks like it's metal and maybe resin. You don't think it's like polyurethane or rubber? Well, I'm sure the bottom is metal. It of might course. be. It might be polyurethane. Yeah. I don't. The Adrian Carmack, I think, made those. That's so cool. And this is some character reference that I'm not familiar with. Dipstick reference by. I wonder if there's a pinball game based on Hellraiser. Oh. <laughs> well, let's find out. Dipstick's cool. Well, if I can spell it. I'll bet there is. There might not be, though, because that's a pretty... That's a pretty... Uh, Adam's family. Is Clive Barker still cranking out books? I don't know. It doesn't look like there's a Hellraiser pinball. What in the world is that? Say what? <laughs> is that a Lego? <laughs> it might just be. Would they make Legos now that aren't real Legos? No, this is some kind of machine. Hmm. Is this an atomic bomb? I mean, <laughs> I'm curious now. It's like pseudo Death Starish. Undersea warfare exhibit. So it's probably a mine. That's no moon. Yeah, <laughs> that's no moon. <laughs> it's pro. If it's underwater warfare, it's probably some kind of mine, or something like that, or a mine detector, or some kind of detector. Looks fairly complicated. Well. So, number six, I'm going to have to get up and run around and stretch my legs. All right. I will do this. And you disappear. <laughs> it's been a pleasure seeing everybody. Are you finished with this session? Because I didn't get to Quake Art yet, and I really want to do Quake Art. We can do that in yeah. a bit. Okay, you're coming back? Sure. I will load up the art. Interesting. In fact, I think I'll take a break, too. I don't know how many, uh, how many Hoochamacalls we have. Do, 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 do. Is that still? Maybe later. Oh, I was going to say, how is that? But What's this here? I don't understand because that's not what I'm looking at. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand what that was looped on. Because that, as far as I know, hasn't been there for a while. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a break. We can close down the Doom cover. Or we didn't cover Doom 3. Nah, yeah, that's alright. Doom 3 is pretty generic cover art. I like that one. That's probably my favorite Doom cover art right there. Doom 3.
because their their demon art looks like something out of a bad bad horror movie cover. Remember Ico. Kick this down. Do, do, do. Remember Ico. What do we get? Is this the Ico art you're talking about? I'm not that familiar with it. All this does bring up some cool looking stuff. Yeah, it must be. Interesting. It has an Escher flavor to it there. Yeah, this definitely has an Escher style to it in its art. It, it must have grabbed this stuff just based on video game art. Some interesting different stuff. Alright. I am taking a break as well. I'll be back. I will leave you with some music that we were playing earlier. <laughs> So, Angie Kitty is finished with the stream for tonight. And I think I'm going to take a break at 8. How is... I have a whole ton of... Uh, oh, I have all the Doom... I have things of all the Doom models. Do you have... Yeah. Whatchamacallit, Archbile, Mancubus. I guess that looks really cool. I guess it didn't translate into game as well. Cyber Demon. That must be a drawing that he did. Ah, the Revenant. And that guy. We didn't cover this. The one scientist. Is that supposed to be Kleiner? It might be. Deport. Did I put it here? I don't know that. I don't know where this stuff went. Sort. Oh, sort. This is where new stuff's supposed to go. Thing. 
Oh, I have it on the other machine. I need to get it over here. Uh, where do I have it over there? Did I copy that stuff over? Did I copy that stuff over? That's the question. I downloaded it all. All of that stuff that goes here, but it's not here. I can't get to it. Because it's not, it's not jigged there, I need to copy it over. I need a way to back up this drive now that now that which we call it stopped working. We shall Quake Art. We need to start with uh, Quake One. Quake three. Never lived up to the hype. Well, they left hype out. A Quake poster. We'll take a look at this tonight. Oh, it's a... Okay. A Quake poster. Oh, I see. I understand. Let's save that in our art folder. I don't know what he's supposed to be. That's probably a fiend. Don't know what that is. That's another quake guy. That's a fiend for sure. Yep, I see what they did there. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. I think you had the art session, the first art session at least, all to yourself. I see you. Actually, I should use my right hand. I realized something. Now this, I like. Wait, post two. yet have they because this one's really cool tea time I think I'll highlight expiring in one day <gasps> seriously did it expire already Disappeared. That's a short one. Yeah, that one must have expired. I've got it, but I don't know. I oh no, I have the chat now because I started recording the chat on these. Yeah, bunk it out. What I don't know if I like is that when you highlight them, they appear up here. So they, they mix in with the new ones. My body boys. 
It hasn't muted that, and I've played it a few times, so that's cool. So those are gone. Let us reload and see what we get. I'm just doing some <coughs> maintenance items here. Why are we processing two highlights on this one thing? Did it double click? Who's on? Who's on? There are a lot of people streaming right now that I have. I think we might do one more before she heads back, back down south. I want to do one on Quake, and it'll probably be Sunday. It'll be Tuesday afternoon, I think. It might be tomorrow afternoon, but I think it'll be Tuesday afternoon. And we'll do Quake and some more modern stuff, because I wanted to contrast the old stuff with the new stuff. I don't think I've ever raided in day. He might be almost finished. <clears throat> so there'll be at least one more. And I have no way to set her up with a remote like streaming setup. She doesn't have the technical skill to set her own up. So I would have to kind of be there. Is there a reason this isn't uh, like difficult to manage? Do, do, do. Net, net, net. So how did this happen? Why are there two of these? Can I delete one of these if I delete one of these? And there's still one of them. I must have double clicked. I make any changes? Good. What else is hiding down here? Here's the expires, so that one must have expired. I'll put a thing on Discord when it's uh, popping up. When it's going to happen, I'll put something up. Or I'll set the title beforehand in the channel. I must have double clicked that. <clears throat> so I did this one. I don't know, I might want to do the, um, the outside one four days. These seem to sneak past me. So I did that one. Tea time. Garden update. <laughs> Garden update's four minutes. I could probably upload that one. The Terraria stuff's on YouTube. I like that one most likely. I might as well crop these out now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they'll they'll be stored for a while. I don't know if I'm going to cut them out and do a separate YouTube. I might put them on YouTube. Cut this last little bit of fluff off the end. I think after the first one I started storing all these locally so I had them. <laughs> Especially after I realized they had an auto muting system I made sure I made a copy before they could do that so I have the whole thing. I have all my stuff before any monkeying around. 
I definitely want to save the heights. Because those are definitely interesting. I think the only thing I don't have is the very fast first broadcast because I didn't have the saver turned on. And the second one I recorded myself and then I turned this saver on and I started downloading these. Where am I at? Two days. Did that. Three days. Three days. Four days. So I'm up to the four day one. So I got a couple days. Tea time. 56 minutes. Cool. Beep, beep, beep. Save changes. Who responded? weird. I have a few lurkers. But I see four legit viewers. Oh, I'm just here. I'm messing around over here and I'm just there. Flute and I know dances. It looks like a political, <laughs> looks like a political game. Oh no, I don't know what music you're playing. Dan. I think I will hand my lurkers off. He's not on a thing. Reference to people in tech. Okay, we'll do it this way. That will be it. My keyboard's loose. I'll be back on tonight to do a quake thing. I don't know exactly when. Maybe in an hour. I might take a little bit longer break. Because it's 8. Probably be maybe 9.30. Kachi, Welcome. I was just about to hand my viewers over to flute here. I'm taking a break and I'll be back on later to do the quake thing. We covered old video game art versus some new stuff. Doom, pinball games, some uh, some other various games, some Japanese cover art, things like that. While well, I have Angie Kitty here. And yes, be seeing you. So check back in. I'll be back on. And it crashed out. 
on his session, so I'm reloading it, and then I'll be gone. Nope. Oh. I guess not. <laughs> looks looks like he got knocked down. Yeah, looks like he got knocked down. Well, how about that? I don't know Rebel Cast or Mason TV very well. And I, I don't have my desktop audio up, just in case they're playing music. What's up, boy? Oh, somebody wants a kitty cam. And, and he's he's here because... Uh, oh, we didn't get the production of you jumping up. He's here because Angie Kitty left. What you think, boy? I don't know. Oxygen not included. I don't have it. Oh. <clears throat> Somebody has a mic. is playing Skyrim some chill Skyrim he hasn't started yet <coughs> I'm trying I have my desktop audio muted okay He's already been up for six hours. And thank you for the follow, Jane. Right now, my kitty boy is doing his thing. Streamed phone, please. Okay, yeah, I know what typing on a phone is kind of confusing. I will. Oh, this came up now. But I don't know what happened to his channel. <coughs> Alright, kitty cam is what I'm going to go out on. We are going over to dances. I'm not putting desktop audio back on, he's playing music. 
And we're away. There's actually more than, with you in there, there's actually more than two in there. Two, three. He popped off. There's at least four. 